Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Nugga21, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 1. In the last episode, we had gathered the evidence in the form of audio logs that proved that Saren's a traitor to the galactic community. Fantastic! He wants to find something called the Conduit, bring the return of an ancient machine race that killed practically the architects of all the technology of the galaxy. And he's using a robotic a AI army to do so. Fantastic! And now we're just running around on the Citadel, basically talking to NPCs with names, collecting side content, and essentially scanning all the fucking asshole bugs called the Creepers. Not the Creeper, the Keepers! It's a K, not a CR, you dingus. <sighs> anyway. Let's see, we already did the docking bay, the tower. We're in CSEC right now, that's taken care of, so the next spot is... I can either head to the lower markets, or... I mean the wards, or I can head to the Presidium. Let's head to the wards! At least that way. Wait, hang on. Let me just see something real fast. Not this elevator. Not this one. This one. Gotta look at the map properly. To the wards! In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Eh, yeah, that's not going to go over so well. <sighs> I understand that the elevators are to mask the loading screens, but come on, can't they go a little faster? Or at the very least, how the dialogue conversations last longer? I would like that. Ah, oh, whatever. Keeper! Officer Lang! Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? Torfin was a case study during my training. I can't believe you took out the whole base. Amazing! Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang. Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Uh, c sex Citadel, Spectres, Harkin. Uh, no. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Public Extranet Terminal. Thank you, Codex. Okay. Let's see here. Map. I came in through there. Went up the stairs. Now I'm in the upper wards. Oh, good lord, that is tiny as fuck. Alright. I guess we work our way from the back. Which means, let's head back to the medical clinic. View of the nebula. Rapid transit keeper. Thank you. Open the med bay. Because I want to see if uh, Dr. Michelle here has anything worth selling. Nothing back here. Hello, Doc. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Eh, hey, happy to help. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Me too. Now, was there anything you needed? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Medical exoskeleton. Jesus Christ. Well, essentially, this is one of the best armor upgrades in the entire fucking game. 3.5 health regeneration per second. Added onto whatever you have. Plus 50% toxin resistance. And 50% reduction in power cooldowns. 
And it's only until rank... Let's see, that's six, seven, Rank eight. Mark eight is when it starts happening. Hmm. First aid interface, Mark three is the highest I can buy right now, but uh, I'll wait until later. Because I want to check the other shops first. Now then, since we have Ashley and Alenko with us, we should have a special conversation when I go over here. Keyword, should. Whether or not I actually fucked up the trigger is, uh... I probably screwed up the trigger for it. Hello? I'm Emily Wong. I'm a journalist investigating corruption on the Citadel. You recently took down a man named Fist, reportedly a member of some sort of organized crime ring. Did you find any evidence in his office? Is there anything you can share with me? Well, considering we found some tapes... These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> You've got Fist's files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. You're welcome, reporter. Yeah, I think the trigger I need to get to the get the special dialogue cutscene with uh, Alenko and Ashley is I have to do this for I have to actually do this before I investigate Sarah no, or essentially thereof. Let's see, this leads to Let's see that's to to the Presidium. Okay. Ah, oh, the back alleys. Hello, Keeper. Thank you. Oh. oh. Which means there should be another one once I exit this door and circle some stairs. As we're back outside of Chorus, then what, the f what do you want? Ay, ay, ay. Can't you fucking animals realize that I'm been doing something here? Go lie down. Hello, Shorbin. Morlon. I'll deal with Shorbin a bit. Morlon. Hello there. Welcome to Morlan's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Squad. Iconic armors, standard items, non-human armors. What the hell's this? I don't remember this being here. Oh! That's interesting. Huh. I think this is from the recalibrate mod. Essentially adds a shop that sells higher versions of everyone's default armor armors. Oh, great, now Loki's turn. Ugh! Okay, so we got Agent 3 for Garrus, Onyx 3 for Shepard, Mercenary 3 for Garrus, and Onyx 4 for Tally. Hello there, welcome to more Yes, you Famous say the shop. same lines every single time I open the shop. Yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Standard items, Very please. Very good things I have. You will see. Oh, shut up. You say the same lines of dialogue. Oh, I hate dealing with the shopkeeps in this game sometimes. Oh, my. Well, at the very least, I can buy myself some upgrades. Increase the maximum units of meta gel by one? Yes, please. Illness risk control license? Yes, please. Oh, fortunately, I can't upgrade my fucking grenades and meta jail supplies because that's too expensive right now. Is that really? Wow! It's oh, great, Conrad Werner, everyone's favorite asshole. I'll talk to you in a bit. Thank you. Look, where's the guy with the goddamn? Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. 
Really, that's impressive. Usually, you humans can't tell one Turian from another. This was the place! Now, are you gonna give me a refund or not? Do you have your proof of purchase? What? No, no, I, I, I don't think you ever gave me one. I'm sorry, man. I can't help you. But, what would you... Can't help you. <laughs> this is a running gag between these two. This guy's trying to return something back to this shop, but he doesn't have the proper receipt. So he keeps getting turned away. I think it keeps going until Mass Effect fucking 3. Anyway. Let me just activate this real fast. Okay. Let's see, where does this door lead? Ah, we're back here. Okay. Alright, so... Okay, upper... Alright, we did that. Shorpin. Fist is off. Okay, now we need to head back to Korra's Den, because there... Now that we took care of Fist, it's back open for regular business, which means we can actually get some side quests. First things first, though. Squad, level up. go. I essentially want to get these maxed out as soon as possible. Uh, do I unlock more things of combat armor? No. Fitness. Unlock that shit. Alenko. Master Sabotage. Now, essentially, I don't need to, uh, Increase this anymore, actually. You can practically stop at the master rank. Anyway, expat. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? Uh, yes. Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Is this before or after you ripped me off? Oh my goodness. You sell assassin gear off the bat. Fortunately, all merchants sell the med gel and grenade upgrades, so... Well, if they have them. Get the L-Cost Combine license, thank you. Hello, Conrad. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Nice to meet you, and you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. Really? I just tried to help leave me alone. They say a lot of things. I was too busy killing them to count. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? I suppose what? No, no problem. Ah, why not? What's the harm? Anything for a fan. Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again! <sighs> Conrad Werner is a special individual <laughs> in this series. <sighs> He's annoying. He's an annoying cockroach. Shorbin! Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? Uh, the truth, I want some answers, no more lies. Uh, the truth would be nice. You can start by telling me the truth, Shorbin. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... Quit stalling. Jaleed told us what you've been up to. You... spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? No. No, but you're gonna tell me. Everything. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little... over our heads. Oh, really? Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? 
Uh, I'm not seeing the point here. What's so special about that? The keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. And what about Jalid? Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jalid's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. What? I see. <sighs> I see what's going on here. So you're just trying to get back what Jalid already stole. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? <sighs> I kinda need the money. Damn it! I suppose a little scanning here and there won't hurt anyone. Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jalid. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jalid won't help me analyze it. Of course, maybe sure. I'll go have a chat with him right now. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. Well, at the very least, we didn't have to go into a uh, fucking shootout mode here in the fucking market. So that's a plus. Isn't there supposed to be somebody? Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. I think I actually need to ha leave the... Uh... Hmm. Chair, sit down. Concert, General Septimus. Arkin himself. Jenna. Hmm. <laughs> You know, I think I'm going to have to leave and come back here to get everything. Which is probably what I said before, but my mind is scattered right now. Well, at the very least, Chorus End's back in open business, so, okay. Well then. Definitely should have gone to Harkin first. Oh well. Okay, it's time to head to the Presidium. Let's start from the embassies. You have arrived at the Presidium embassies. You need to be your guide. Shut up, you fucking hologram. Okay. Here, I believe this is uh, Udina's office. So let's see. Yep, there's one back here. Don't, don't, whoa! Calm down, there, game. Calm down. Let's see. Okay, then we go up here and to the right. It's all the way in the back. Actually, there's two all the way in the back. One to the left and one to the right. Diplomats, diplomats. Hello, keeper. Let's see, we go down here and we go into the room in the back here. Bartender. Thank you. Well, they built themselves quite the lake. Wonder if anyone ever drowned in it. That's what the guardrails are for. But then again, some people just like hop, skip it a jump, and over the boat they go. Exit. Is there anything near Executor Palin? No. Okay, so we're free to leave the embassy. 
And now we have to look through the entire fucking Presidium to get out of here. Oh, great. This is gonna be fun. Welcome to the Presidium. Presidium. Allow, Allow me, me to, to be, be your, your guide. guide. Shut up! As you can tell, I hit the fucking hologram. Okay, so I can either take that way or this way. To the well, actually, that leads to CSEC. So... Oh! Oh, boy. Okay, let's actually head to where we saw the C-Sect officer arguing with the jellyfish. I kind of wish I could just run without actually, you know, running into that. I've told you before, you're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right. To okay, let's deal with this. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? And what's the problem? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. It needs to purchase an evangelical permit. Rules of permit, arrest it, reason for permit, uh, I'll talk to it. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Hello, preacher. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Having trouble? What's the problem? What are you doing? What's going on here? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Purchase of a permit, legality of preaching and kindlers. So, why don't you just purchase one? If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? The truth of the enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. Oh, wonderful. You're breaking the law. This isn't the way. Ah, uh, shit, I... F fuck, I'm not sure if I can actually do this, but fuck it. Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language, and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Could I buy your permit? There's trouble anyway. Oh, hey, hey, I guess, uh, ah, I guess putting points in a charm paid off. Is this how the Enkindlers would want you to use this gift of consciousness? The Enkindlers would wish for their message to be spread to all sentient races. Not this way, you insult their member. They wouldn't want this. If the Protheans had wanted you to force your message on the unwilling, they'd have said so. This one hears wisdom. Perhaps enthusiasm has clouded judgment in this matter. This one departs now, and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. Hey, officer. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Not a problem. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Eh, <laughs> thanks for the Omni Gel. Okay. No, that's taken care of. Let's, uh, scan this bastard. Let's see, I can head to head through there to... I'll wait, considering that's the last area I think I need to actually go to. So yeah, I'll save that one for last. After I make sure I scanned every single one in this area. 
Please do not disturb the keepers. Welcome to the Shut up, you stupid android. Please do not disturb I mean, the not android. You stupid hologram run by a virtual intelligence. Anyway. That just leads to the tower. That's not where I need to go. So I need to head this way. Hello, massive tuning fork. You won't become relevant at all. <sighs> yeah, a lot of things have opened up to a uh, opened up to me, but not everything, unfortunately. Hello, Barlavon. Borium shopkeeper. Don't mind me. I am just going to check back here real fast. Hello, keeper. All right. Emporium shopkeep. Question: How come you're not on the map as a shopkeeper? Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Okay. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Upgrade standard items, non human armors. Let's see your standard items. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Stop giving me. Well, at least I can now get uh, the Server Foundation license so I can buy Phoenix armor! Yay! And it's stupid looking color scheme. I mean, it works for Ashley, but it doesn't work for anyone else. If the pink was more red, I wouldn't have a problem. But it's red, but it's white and pink. Pink! Why? If it's supposed to be a reference to the Red Cross, why isn't it red? For fuck's sake. Uh, then again, there are just some colors that piss me off. For no real reason, okay? See, there should be one last keeper around here on this staircase. There it is. Okay. Now then. How many keepers have I scanned so far? 19 out of 21. Okay, well that's concerning. Okay. Let me look at this map here. See if I missed one. So yeah, I already got the ones all in the Sill Tower and the Docking Bay. And Seasick. Nothing up there, Cora's Den. I already got that one. I already got that one. And that one. And that one. Got that. Got that. We got that. We got that. Got that. That and that. Got that. Ah! Never mind, I didn't miss one. I just didn't go to a, I just didn't go to a different, a certain area. All right. Whew! For a second there, I thought I missed one, but no. I just didn't go into a certain area that I could have in the upper, near the war. Yeah. I want a Blake. What? Where? Oh, yeah, there. Spectre. Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. I'm not interested. Good for you. How do you know me? Uh. How did you know I'm a Spectre? Word travels. 
Your name comes up in certain circles. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. Well, that sounds like fun. Defenses, her interest, known crimes. Uh, what am I looking at in terms of armament? What kind of defenses would these two have? I haven't the faintest idea, but they're certain to be armed. Their partnership soured, and each believes that the other intends to kill him. They will be well prepared. This is an obvious setup. I could charge you. Well, if I'm going to be killing crime bosses, I might as well do it. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Goodbye, you obviously pirate bitch. And since I gained plus two for Renegade, you kind of figure that uh, I just agreed to work with a criminal by killing off her rivals. <sighs> you know, why bother grilling an NPC for a side quest when you know it's kind of obvious what's going on here? Ah, oh, whatever. Welcome to, Welcome to the Presidium. Presidium. Allow me to shut up. Wait, not this one. The next elevator. God, how, how do I keep getting lost in this place? Oh, I know why. It's because I use the fast travel system in the Citadel constantly. I don't bother running around after I finish this keeper crap. And now another elevator ride. Woo! In other news, Exogeny Corp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Oh, that sounds... bad. Alrighty then. So how are you liking your posting at the academy? It's good. Busy though. I can't believe how many people you get. Where's Jalid anyway? Ah, here we are. Thank you, keeper. It Elenko got stuck. Wonderful. Alright, let's head back to the wards. Those Asari commandos are impressive. Lightly armored, but their speed more than makes up for it. Unless that speed lets them outrun bullets, I'm more inclined to stick with nice, solid armor. And a big gun. Point taken. Yeah, unfortunately, because of the way the firearms work, you can't really dodge bullets. You can make a barrier to absorb the bullets, but I don't think you can stop the bullets. Although technically they're not actually bullets. Well, not bullets in the traditional sense. Eventually I'll get one of the co ending codex entries will be about the firearms. And why I believe that Mass Effect 1's firearms are superior to 2 and 3's. Okay, now we need to head to the one place I didn't go into yet. Flux. It's time to head into a fancy schmancy club. Let me just get this on the map. Yeah. Although I'm pretty sure just running by it is enough to activate it, but I like being uh, sure of myself. Stubborn your sister can be. 
The more you push and prod, the more she'll run away. Yeah, you're probably right. Thanks, Doran. Hello. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? Problems? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. Eh, I like listening to problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Oh, that's not good. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Well, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Well, you talked to CSEC. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it. For Jenna's safety. I'll go speak with her. I gotta go. Leave it to me. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's Dan is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. No problem. Low stakes quasar. Who's up for some gambling? And suspicious gambling machine. Day collection complete! Oh, thank you for the uh, music here. Let's play some, uh, let's gamble. Quasar, 20 credits to play. Get closer to 20 without going over. <laughs> It's essentially, it's blackjack. Okay, we got three, add a four to seven, add one to eight. Okay, we got an eight. Why? Ooh. We got a 10 now, so probably, let's just go with the safety option. Ooh. Payout. Would you like to play a game for 20 credits? Nah, not right now. Suspicious gambling machine. High stakes. 200 credits. With possibility of gaining 400 back. Hmm. High stakes quest. Hmm. That's t <laughs> I'm really tempted to play blackjack in here for several hours to get a shit ton of credits. Ooh. <laughs> Don't tempt me, game. At least this game is b better than fucking Pazak ever will be. Unfortunately, there's no fucking swoop bike racing. <sighs> you know, I'm real annoyed that I never could figure out why it was busted in KOTOR 2. Yeah, whatever. Uh, do I go investigate Korra's den right now, or do I wait? I'm gonna wait until my return visit. In which case, we need to actually head to... Hang on a minute. Journal. Save your survey team, hostile, defend, lead. Ah, oh, he's at CSEC. Perfect! That's where I need to go. Presidium? No, that's not there. Wards? Yeah, there it is. Seasick. We have now arrived at CSEC Academy. Academy. Now I just need to find Jaleed. Where the fuck's he at? Oh, Jaleed, I need to speak to you for a moment. Tell you that your partner is not trying to get you killed. It's just a big misunderstanding. You're up here, aren't you? Yep. Oh, you're right where I left you. Hey, Jaleed. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? Yes. I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? What about the Keeper data? Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... 
Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. It's fine. Relax. I'm helping. Oh, we're in this gun. Relax. I'm helping. I'm scanning the keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... You're helping us? But... Well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Hey, another level! This is why you do side quests. It's a good way to gain some XP to level up faster. Okay, now we just bump up Intimidate. Ooh, I can get more credits pretty soon. Alright. I wonder... That's, uh... Whoops. I got to level up you guys. Uh, yeah, essentially with Falenko, might as well start unlocking, uh, start unlocking your support abilities of me first aid and medicine. Well, actually, just first aid and maybe some sentinels. Then again, I'm not likely to ever use you again, Alenko. Sorry about that. It's like... You know, the real kick in the balls is you pick, uh, what's Alenko's class? Sentinel? If you pick Sentinel, you really don't have a reason to ever use him. Uh, at least with Ashley, she may be a soldier, but she at least can tank a lot of hits. The only difference between her and Rex is that Rex has biotics and Ashley doesn't. If Ashley had biotics as well, well, then it would be a harder match. Anyway, requisitions officer. Hello, Commander. Show me what you got. I'll open the rare I'll stocks, open the rare for, stocks for you, Enjoy. Commander. Enjoy. Yes, I've heard this a lot. Oh! I am so close to buying. Okay, first off, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Ugh. Anyway, back to our like, rescheduled programming. Hang on a second. Did I receive any extra equipment? No. Hello, Commander. Show me. Not compared. Da. Hello, Commander. I think I'll be going. See, sexy. God Hello, damn it! Relax. Show me what you Calm got. Calm down. Okay. Whew. See, that is a pistol. Uh, I can't afford. Can't afford that or that. I can afford this if I sell some things. Let's see, damage, shields, tech, that's just pure shields. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like the best armor I can get is Spectre Armor 3 with a stupid ass color scheme. But if I sell some gear, I could get myself... I don't think I'll be able to ha I have enough credits to buy everything that I want. But let's see if I can actually get enough credits for that. Probably yes. Let's sell our sniper rifles. This assault rifle. It. If I ever feel the need, I can always buy my stuff back. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. I know how I can solve this, do I? 
Uh, this penny will work, I guess. Okay, heads, I buy the biotic amp. Tails, I buy the armor. Okay, let's do this. I need to clip my nails. And the verdict is... I'm buying the armor. Land on tails. Okay, so let's buy that uh, suit of a specter armor. Thank you. Transfer a pr Well, that's custom. <laughs> okay. I'll take it. Well, I guess this is a good thing of not reading what everything gets added in when I install mods. I get surprised like this! <laughs> a suit of armor that's straight out of Mass Effect 2 or 3. Okay. <laughs> sure. I'll take it. Why not? Anyway, what was I doing? Uh... Alenko, you can wear the scorpion armor. The Explorer 3 will give to someone else. Let's see, we have 5 out of 6 meta gel, 4 out of 6 grenades, 57 omni gel. Who? Okay, so... Yeah, it's time for us to leave the Citadel. I think we're good here for... Mm. You know what? No. No, 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 no. I'm going to do something completely fucking stupid. I'm laying the dice gods aside my fate once again. Okay. Odd numbers? On D20, I continue on and leave the Citadel, finally. Evens, I end it here and go play a high-stakes Quasar for a shit ton of credits. This is gonna be stu so stupid. I'm hoping for odds, but knowing my luck, I'll get evens. The Dice Gods have decided that... Son of a bitch, I should not have tempted fate. It's a six. Fuck! Aw, oh, man, I'm gonna be spending hours playing goddamn fucking black shit. Damn it! Why did I have to tell you. T t t bleh. Can't speak. Take a drink. Relax. Campfire style coffee has a hint of chocolate. Nice. And I didn't even put any cocoa powder in the coffee this time. That's just the natural taste of the coffee. Dark chocolates. Awesome. Let's roll. <sighs> well then, apparently me tempting the dice gods have decided to put me through suffering of gambling addiction. Awesome. So I'm gonna call it here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been NoGod21. This has been Let's Play Mass Effect 1. In the next video, I'm probably going to be several credits either richer or I'm going to be broke. Which I'll probably spend on some things. Probably him. Because he has the good gear at right now. Or going around... Or I just look around and buy things that I can. And after I finish that, it's time for us to leave. But until then... Thanks for watching a wonderful evening, and I'll see you all next time. Why'd I have to tempt the goddamn dice gods? Why? The Krogan evolved in a hostile and vicious environment. Until the invention of gunpowder weapons, eaten by predators was still the number one cause of Krogan fatalities. Afterwards, it was death by gunshot. When the Salarians discovered them, the Krogan were a brutal, primitive species, struggling to survive a self-inflicted nuclear winter. The Salarians culturally uplifted them, teaching them to use and build modern technology so they could serve as soldiers in the Rachni War. 
Liberated from the harsh conditions of their home world, the quick breeding Krogan experienced an unprecedented population explosion. They began to colonize nearby worlds. Even though these worlds were already inhabited, the Krogan rebellions lasted nearly a century, only ending when the Turians unleashed the Genophage, a Salarian developed bioweapon that crushed all Krogan resistance. The Genophage makes only one in a thousand pregnancies viable, and today the Krogan are a slowly dying breed. Understandably, the Krogan harbor a grudge against all other species, especially the Turians. <laughs> 